Hello, welcome back to the YouTube channel. I am Nick from Australia. Hope everyone's having a great Saturday night. I also hope everyone had a fantastic Saturday. Uh, welcome to the Saturday Football Review. We saw three games of football today, or tonight, today, tonight, whatever you want to put it. We saw the Cowboys beat the Knights, 32 points to 20. We saw the Titans beat the Broncos, 30 points to 12. And we just saw the Eels beat the Raiders in Golden Point, 25 points to 24. What a great game that was that we just seen at Bankwest. But before we get into that, let's go back to the first game, which was my team, my beloved North Queensland Cowboys, absolutely giving it to Newcastle. It was an absolute ambush. Cowboys 32, Newcastle 20. I could not believe the first half. The Cowboys led 26-0 at halftime. And it looked like, that, looked like they were going to go on and win the game by 40 to 50 points. But um, to Newcastle's credit, they came back. They, they made the Cowboys a little bit nervous at the end. But, um, you know, I thought the Cowboys overall... Absolutely played outstanding today. It's probably the best game they've played all year, except for the defensive part. You know, that's the only issue with the Cowboys at the moment. They get their defense right, they'll be a, they'll be a fair side. They'll be a quality quality outfit, I think. Um, I thought Jason Tamalolo was absolutely outstanding once again. Um, in the first half, Robson, Maguire, uh, Clifford and Tamalolo were just on another level, guys, honestly. If you've seen it, they were outstanding. Now, as you probably already know, I didn't live stream any games today. I <coughs> still feel like absolute shit. I have a bit of a uh, cold. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm not 100%, so I wasn't really keen on streaming. I probably should have streamed now, looking back on it, because there were some cracking games, but um, it is what it is. Hopefully, I get better soon and move on. I'll try and stream tomorrow, but I can't guarantee anything. I'm pretty crook, so... Not the best idea at the moment, but we'll see how we go. But I thought the Cowboys in the first half were outstanding. As for uh, Newcastle, they were um, they were shell-shocked in the first half. I thought Kalen Ponga had a really poor game. He, um, I remember I was watching the pre-show, and they were talking up Ponga against the Cowboys and all this. And I'm just sitting there thinking in my, thinking in my head, for fuck's sake, it'd be nothing better than but to beat Newcastle, or just the hype of Newcastle, Ponga. Blah, blah. I'm like, please. We look, smashed them in the first half. Cowboys still got to fix up their defense. Cowboys' defense at the moment is pretty ordinary, but their attack is class, and I thought they did a great job. Without Holmes, without without Morgan, without Asiata, they still put up put up a great win against Newcastle. I'm happy. Um, my best three players on ground. Tough one to give it to because there was a, really a lot of good players for the Cowboys. Today, I'm going to go number three, Josh McGuire, number two, Jake Clifford, and number one, my man in the match, Jason Tamalolo. Cowboys are outstanding. I'll give Newcastle a nice performance, a four out of ten. I'll give the Cowboys performance a seven out of ten. Newcastle made a lot of stupid errors, and um, Newcastle were poor. They were good for, in late in the second half. <coughs> Move on to the next game. We saw the Titans beat the Broncos, which was a bit of an upset, to be honest. Gold Coast 30, Brisbane 12. Um, Brisbane, what's going on? I think Seabold's under a lot of pressure. I don't know if he will survive, honestly. Brisbane were, you know, I don't want to be, I don't want to sit here and just shit on Brisbane because I'm pretty sure enough people have done that, but Brisbane at the moment are a very, very boring side to watch. They were poor. Their defense is terrible. Their attack is so readable. Um, yeah, Brisbane are an absolute mess at the moment. This is the worst I've ever seen Brisbane in. I know 2013 was a bad year for Brisbane, but at the moment, it's it's worse. It's absolutely terrible at the moment. I think Seabold will be lucky if he holds on to his job. I think he'll be sacked in the next couple of days. I can't see him surviving um, this week. I just I don't, I don't see how he's going to survive. They got smashed by the Gold Coast. The fucking Gold Coast of all teams. Now, with all due respect to the Gold Coast Titans, they're nothing but a really shit team. But at the moment, Brisbane are worse. And Brisbane are probably... Um, they just don't want to play for the coach. I know last week, Seabold went in there 
after the game against Newcastle and said, if I'm the right man for the job, stand up. Only two people st stood up, and I believe it was one was Alex Glenn. I'm not sure who the other one was, but I know Alex Glenn was the only one, along with someone else, who has, has the support. But taking away nothing from, from the Gold Coast, the Gold Coast were outstanding. I thought Ash Taylor had an absolute blinder. I thought Fodder Waker was good. The Don was outstanding. Um, Philip Semi played well. Who else was there? Yeah, look, Sam Lasone. I thought Gold Coast were a much better side. And um, Brisbane at the moment are an absolute mess. And there's going to be some really interesting decisions made in the, in the next couple of days for the Broncos. I'm not sure if Seabold survives. Milford, again, was really poor. And I don't think he will be named for the Warriors. I think he'll be getting dropped. But um, my best three players on ground for that game. Number three, I'm going to go with Anthony Don. Number two, I'm going to go with Fodder Waker. And number one, my man in the match, I'm going to give it to Ash Taylor. I thought he was outstanding. Now, let's move on to the game that we just seen on Fox League. Parramatta 24. I mean, Ca Parramatta 25. Canberra 24. What a game of rugby league. How good was it? Seriously. Saturday night football. Blockbuster game of the round. Parramatta versus Canberra. Two top four. Two quality sides that expected, expected to be there at the end of the season. And I thought it was a very high quality game of football. Obviously, the talking point is Mitchell Moses. Looks like he's going to be out for quite some time. I think it was I think it was an Achilles injury. So, big loss there for Parramatta. Moses is a huge loss for the Eels. Um, next weekend, the Eels take on the Cowboys. So, I'm guessing Dylan Brown will go to halfback and Brad Takarangi or Jai Field will play at 5'8 position. But, um, yeah, Moses is a huge loss. But I, hope he, I wish him all the best. Hope he gets hope he gets well soon. He's a terrific player. Um, at half time, Canberra led 12-8, and I thought Canberra might go on with the job. And then Parramatta, they come out fire, and Moses was injured. And I thought whoever scores the first try in the second half is gonna go a long way to win this game. And then when Parramatta ended up getting out to a 24-12 lead, I'm sitting down in the lounge thinking, I was starting to get tired. I'm thinking, there's no way Canberra can come back from this. They they're gone. This game is over. Canberra are not coming back from this game in this game. And out of nowhere, Canberra found a way to found a way to come back. And it was an it was an unbelievable effort. Charles Nickel Clockstad scored and then was it and then and then he scored again. He scored two tries in about two minutes, Nickel Clockstad. I could not believe Canberra were down twelve and then they scored two tries in about two minutes to get at the golden point. And then it was just an absolutely fantastic game of rugby league. Um, for, for the Eels, I thought Dylan Brown steered the ship really well. I thought he was absolutely outstanding. I thought he had a great game of football. I thought Michael Jennings was dangerous with the ball. Uh, Paulo and Campbell Gillard were outstanding as well. They had a really solid performance. Um, for the Raiders, I thought Emre Gula, Papali and Nicol Cox had a really well. I thought Josh Hodgson had a decent game. Don't think he had a great game, but I thought he played decent. George Williams looked really dangerous with the football, but Gulferson kicks the field goal to win the game, and the Eels get the win over the Raiders. One of the best games of football of the season. Probably in the top three best games of the year so far. What a great finish. What a great game of footy. Well done to the Parramatta side. Good luck next week, Parramatta. Looking forward to Friday night. It's my team, the Cowboys, up against Entertain House's team, the Eels. I am really looking forward to it. Um, if the Cowboys lose to the Eels, I'll be copping a lot of shit off everybody. I'll be copying a lot of banter from Entertain House, from Lufa, Dean Sullivan. I'll be copying banter from Simon. I'll be copping everybody. I'll be copping it if the Eels lose. So come on, the Cowboys next Friday night. My best three players on ground for the Eels Raiders game. Hard one to pick, but I'm going to go number three. I'm going to go with Clint Gufferson. Number two, I'm going to go with Junior Paulo. I mean, Regan Campbell Gillard for number two. And number one, my man of the match, I'm going to give it to Dylan Brown. I thought he was outstanding. He controlled the team really well when Moses went off injured. And I thought Dylan Brown was absolutely awesome in that win against the Raiders tonight. Anyway, guys, I'm getting out of here. Make sure you guys go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. 
to the channel. Um, I will be back tomorrow night for my Sunday football review between Manly v Cronulla and West Tigers versus Canterbury. Anyway, guys, until then, hope you guys have a great Sunday, and um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Go the Cowboys.